joining for another video. Welcome to my video. This is Arlene Things. Please like, subscribe, and comment the link below. And if you're new, please thank you so much for joining me and welcome you to my channel. Mm -hmm. And this is my wife, Annie. She's today joining me today for some spaghetti and meatball. Mm -hmm. We got some spaghetti and meatball here. We got some salad. And we have some thumbnail. Italian bread. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, let me present this and I'm going to do Italian bread. I mean the thumbnail, but this is what we have right now. Mm -hmm. I'm carrying a hangover because we had too much fun with my friend last night, Yvonne. <laughs> so I'm having a nice coffee. So this is a thumbnail really quick, baby. And of course, my wife is having the wine. Mm -hmm. Thumbnail. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's, let's go ahead and dig in because it's the first time I'm eating right now. So yum, yum. So how you feeling? She had to drive home. We spent the night. Think of my my friend had a room for us to spend the night because we had way too much fun. I disappeared with one of their dogs. <laughs> he was in the bed already, so we ended up. She walks in, and we both turn our head. <laughs> they were definitely cuddling. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is from Dahlia's. We have it down the street. Here, you have some questions for us? After you serve yourself. Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right. All right. Give us some Ken. Yeah, they give us some ranch, but. I forgot to ask for Italian, but we have. We one. like molto italiano. Mm. Well, this is Greek. That's cool. Oh, it's Greek. Mediterranean. Greek, Greek Italian. Pretty much we're a lot alike. So, anyway, we're going to start eating again because I'm starving. I wasn't hungry earlier. I was curing my hand. And of but. course, you know, I have these. My wife took care of me this morning, so I feel a lot better. Thank you, baby. And you know, I got my chili oil. Chili oil. All right. This is so good. I'm using some carbs, some pasta. Yeah, you needed something. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she finally said. Yeah, that does sound good. Bam. I like it because they always put pepperoncini in it. Mm -hmm. Got some olives. This is a really good salad. Onions. My wife sprinkled a little bit of the Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hope you guys are having a weekend or a good weekend already. I know today's Sunday. Nobody looks forward to Monday, but hope you guys are still enjoying the day. It's still kind of early. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. This spaghetti. It is so, so, so good. You notice the bread has like minced garlic. I haven't tried the bread yet. I'm going to try it next. No, but you can see it. Mm. It's gonna be it good. has some minced garlic. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It is 100% crunchy. Mmm. That's good. You gotta try it. Mm -hmm. I try to make garlic bread, but sometimes it never comes out like the store or the restaurant. I don't know why. For me, it doesn't work, so I enjoy good um, garlic. garlic bread. Mm -hmm. This is my iced mm. coffee. <laughs> Jimmy, oh, it tastes so good with the chili oil. The chili one, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do chili tonight because my stomach is very sensitive right now. This is what I'm working with. Spaghetti, mm -hmm. lettuce. And we'll lay the salad underneath. Oh, no. The meatballs cut up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so, so good. I do want to give a shout out today to Angela Johnson. Mm -hmm. She's one of my, the groups that I post my videos on Facebook. And she did send me an instant messenger through Facebook. And I really appreciate your words. Thank you so much. You really, I got choked up. I had to, I called my wife. Yeah. Honey, honey, you gotta come here. Again, Angela, thank you so much. And I really appreciate your words. Thank you for supporting me and thank you for the kind words. Um, thank you. 
And like I said, I, I choked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the nicest thing ever anybody ever told me regarding that. I mean, I have other people that I really enjoy. They always, you know, support me, but I do appreciate your enjoy. I just wanted to let you know. Look at that. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She knows what you're talking about. She yeah. knows what you what she wrote to you. Yes. Yes. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. My mom used to make the best spaghetti. Um, spaghetti. And lasagna. My mom and my grandma used to always argue who made the biggest, the more layer of lasagna. Mm -hmm. Make it bigger, make it bigger. <laughs> She taught me how to make um, gnocchi. She said, let me help her with the fork and make gnocchi. Mm. Yeah, Italian culture. You make pasta every Sunday from scratch. Um, you know, from scratch. You make with the flour and all that. And then you buy your whole family and everybody gets together usually on Sundays. You know, for afternoon, you know, for dinner. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. This is so, so so good. Thank you, babe, for showing me this today. Because that was the best. I was showing her different options to entice her appetite. <laughs> yeah, because I was not feeling... I haven't had that got the hangover at all in a while. Wow, I make some drinks. That's why I don't like to mix. I usually just have tequila. I don't wake up with a hangover. You know, I have two, three, four shots. Um, I mean, of course, you go with Thursday the next day and all that when you drink, but not like today. Well, I was very intoxicated last night, and she filmed me, and like, I don't want to hear myself. Mm. <laughs> it was a really good time, really nice moment. I fell in love with her three dogs. <laughs> it's funny because her daughter does caging. She taught her daughter how to do, um, it's like a DJ place for karaoke. So... We both got our dogs, and that's the first one they recognized me again. We both got a pit bull from the same bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are pit bull rescuers from the bar. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I was seeing him. He was so beautiful. Mm, this is bomb. You guys, if you guys have a dog he has next to you, you got to order a spaghetti and meatball. We just order pizza and what else do we do? Mm -hmm. But this is so good. Oh, and the Annie pasta salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it? Mm -hmm. I'm loving it. It's good to see you eating. Mm-hmm. And I'm eating we're hungry this time, you know, I'm usually hungry, but this morning everything and I look at some mukbangs and I go, when I'm not enjoying a mukbang <laughs> because it's making not making me feel good, I know I'm sick because I enjoy my mukbang yeah. and I watch them every morning and every day. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And my, my wife, she waited for me. I like it feeling better. So you feel better till you think you're ready. Yeah. She asked me for to eat one. You want to order something good? No! Mm -hmm. <laughs> usually I'm already down for it, you know? Mm. To order? I'm usually down for it. Yes, true. But I was testing you for appetite. Mm. Really, what I thought I was going to need to do is go to the market and get some menudo. Mm hmm. You see, I'm very boring. But you were not about anything. No. Mm. It was a really mushrooms. good time yesterday. They were mm. singing their hearts out. Mm hmm. <laughs> and that woman can sing. Mm hmm. That woman can sing. I can't have this. No paper, I love you, but I can't have it. Oh, my. Thank you. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, mama always cooked with bell paper and all that, but now. That I'm getting older. You're growing up. I'm getting more sensitive to some foods. Mm -hmm. 
like I said, I was raised with me in Argentina. You eat meat every morning, every day. I mean, you eat meat. So now, I can now, have it. Huh? Yeah, which is why I'm kind of curious how. I hope your your tummy's okay with your meatball. Meatball. But I think it's different. I don't know what it is about steak that makes me sick. Mm. I true. love steak. Mmm. It's got a break. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My tear break. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, so we saw Basil's class. Yeah, I was called cool Basil, but you guys know I enjoy Basil, right? Yeah, Basil. Yeah. Basilicious. Mm -hmm. Basil bite. Uh -huh. So on uh, one of her channels, she was showing her her classroom. That she was, was teacher. so beautiful. Yeah, she's so um, innovative. She the way she's uh, working. You know, she has a vision to get the kids engaged in um very ergonomically and um <laughs> just in a different environment and it's beautiful it she is. has a lot of personal touches in there i mean it's all personal touch but i mean even her art her own artwork and um she's very talented mm -hmm. and she made that classroom look so beautiful so <laughs> she kept us going back to 1900 1903 1907 whatever it was early 1900 how the classroom has not changed. It's always the same setup. So she made it so beautiful. Yeah. She made like little sections, you know, for them yeah, to sit. Yeah, she has a little library in her own room. Mm -hmm. She has, um, you know, I said ergonomically because she has stand-up stations for the kids. Mm -hmm. She has a wobble board for the kids that, you know, um, sometimes they're antsy. Sometimes, you know, I mean, even for work, I have mm -hmm. a stand-up desk where I sit mm -hmm. down a lot all day, but then also I... Put my desk up and it feels good to move your feet when you're sitting down so much so mm. it's it's just awesome and it's awesome to see you know teachers that care that much you know what i wish they would have that when i was going to school because you know i'm adhd and I always had a lot of energy always that's why i never got really good in behavior because i was always you know <laughs> but then would have that that you can stand and you can do that. That mm -hmm. would have been so cool. Mm -hmm. Look, she even has a cycle desk. Yeah. You want a cycle? She has a... Yeah, I wish it would have happened when I was... A cycle there. bike so you can have, you know, kind of be standing up. She yeah. has one on the, on the chair to sit down just so you can move your legs under the chair. Yep. I mean, she's on it. Mm -hmm. It's something... Um, I don't know what school that is that um, supported her on that, but I remember when she was really excited about the school. Yeah. Um, accepting her vision. Mm-hmm. They mm -hmm. did. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, she has a great vision, and her students are going to love her, no doubt. I think about it. We're grown-ups. We're older. Mm -hmm. We sit all day at the desk. What about the back pain, mm -hmm. the anxiety that you get? You know, well, think about being a kid that you have 10 times more energy than when you're growing up, like my age. Yeah. And I get antsy, you know, when I'm all day sitting down. So, that is an awesome concept. And I wish, you know, she, you know, that's something I think a lot of schools are going to start following because I think it's good, you know, not only that, but when you're so anxious, it's hard for you to focus. Mm hmm. You know? Yeah, these kids have so much energy to mm -hmm. bottle up, and you know they just move around for a few minutes in between each class. Yeah, they're just getting started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they have to settle down again to get going in class. So I hope you know other schools yeah. notice it, you know, or take note of it because I think it will help. It'll be easier for kids to be able to, um, you know, assimilate in. And have retention, you know, when you can imagine me in the kid and sitting down for like an hour every class and then you go play that class. I remember those days, remember? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see this better now, but this is it's beautiful salad, beautiful, beautiful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No, salad. I can eat it any time. Chili oil. But this I'm gonna eat it right now, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh good, I'm glad your appetite opened up. Mm. Mm. 
I mean, straight for the ball. <laughs> This is delicious. Mm. You know what? What? I think it's the first time I'm getting spaghetti from. No. No? No, no way. Well, I don't know what tastes so good. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> <Yes>. mm. <laughs> You're like, this is life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel alive. I'm telling you guys, it was a close call today. <laughs> mm. I was not feeling my best. It was like, like I went through a drill, driller or whatever. I went through a thing and beat the crap out of me <laughs> from head to toe. I can tell my wife everything hurts. Everything hurts. Oh. Mm hmm Yeah. So. I feel you want more like, bread? It's so okay if I have a little bit more. Mm hmm You want more? Mm hmm Thank you. Thank you. Mm hmm Thank you. Mm hmm I'm gonna do it for the end. It's at the end. I have some no. more of this too. You can. No, I'm, I'm happy to I'm, share. Uh, no, I'm, I'm getting four. If you need just... some Dunkin' sauce. <laughs> you know what? Comparing how I was feeling this morning, I feel a lot better now, so I feel like I'm alive. Mm -hmm. But I still don't want to overdo my stomach because. You know, oh! So, this one we were supposed to do our laser badminton that we're talking about? Laser. Never happened, guys. Yeah, because we got there early. Well, we got there a little late, and but no, <laughs> you put the pedal to the metal, like, <laughs> she went zero to a hundred in the first 60 seconds. <laughs> I feel bad because I thought, usually when we go to our friend's house, mm -hmm. Yvonne, there's usually like a hundred people there, there's always a lot of people. Mm -hmm. well, it was just us, her daughter, and her best friend, so I feel kind of bad going there late. Because mm -hmm. I thought, you know. Usually it's an event. Yeah. Oh, she does spectacular events. Mm-hmm. She does. Um, I mean, th I think that's the first time we've ever been to her house. Um, since um, that there's that we there was nobody else. Christmas, yeah, the first time. Because every time we every go, time. there's a full full house. I mean, she has amazing parties. She's a wonderful host. Mm -hmm. Every Christmas and every Halloween, people pay to go to haunted houses. Hers is always free, and people. I always heard every year that mm -hmm. people come from other places. They pay. Oh my God, we just pay all this money, mm -hmm. and this is so much better, and it's free. She mm -hmm. knows it because she knows it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think free? How good could it be, right? I mean, no. She completely transforms her home. Mm -hmm. She makes at least twenty like um, different Halloween themed rooms. Scenes, right? Poltergeist room. Clown room. Mm -hmm. um, she has one with the with the refrigerator that has body parts, but it's not body parts. You yes, know, but it's fake, yes, but. and she has um, you know either herself or the actor. She has mm -hmm. people that are make it interactive, and you or, know they carry you through and they offer you finger foods, but it's like really fingers and stuff like that. But not real fingers. No, but it's, no, it's yeah. props. But they they really put an act to it. I like the one when. You're oh, walking, the, the one that whoa, was like that to your dog. Yes, to you. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. But even when you're in line, um, there's when you there was a guy Machine. in the driveway. No, with the uh, what was it? A chainsaw. A chainsaw. And making sparks and oh my gosh! I mean, it's really, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Look up Mistress Yvonne's mm -hmm. in uh, Riverside, mm -hmm. and um. Her open house, her haunted house is always worth it. Every always. year, she does it every year. And Christmas, mm -hmm. it's beautiful too. Mm -hmm. You'll go to her house and you'll see, it looks like two ghosts dancing. But she has some paint, I don't know how she paints it up on the roof, but you know when you walk That's in, not on Christmas. <laughs> Oh no, that's not, not crazy. That's, that's Halloween. I'm sorry, Halloween. But that's kind of cool. Yeah, no, I know in. exactly what you're talking about. Sort of what you see at Disneyland when with those two ghosts chasing each other. Mm. Hologram. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we had such a great time. And I felt, I slept with her dog. I remember, I don't remember much. 
when I went there to the room, but I do remember I kept on grabbing the dog and kissing him, and then he would pull him away because he was trying to sleep, but I would grab him like this from his leg arms, and I would kiss him. But he just stayed with me. It was we had I had to have one on the floor, she said, and I had one sleeping with me in the bed. It was cute. Oh, I just pass out. They're beautiful, big, gentle giants. Yes, yes. Even though they do bark at you a lot, you you think they're being all vicious, and then before that, before you know, they're licking you. Well, because they knew, they recognized this when we walked in. I'm stuck. I can have no more. Well, you you put a hurting on it. Oh my God! Look, guys, I ate everything. And the salad, I'm just leaving a little bit because it's too much onion and the onion's kind of getting to me a little bit, so I'm just going to give it a break. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a break and then I'll come back. Jack! Hey, what's how you doing there? I'm good. I think I'm ready for a breather. Yeah, I'm having my coffee. My coffee. I'll do take two. <laughs> my um, second glass of wine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have my coffee. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Take care of me. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm feeling more alive. I feel alive. Anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I was there. Even though it was hurting this morning, I'm glad I was able to do a book battle mm -hmm. today. Yep, she was thinking about you guys. Well, <laughs> man, I had to do one today. I had mm -hmm. to. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Please, if you like my video, give a thumbs up or not thumbs down. It was a pleasure again hanging out with you guys. I um, hope you ate with us while we're eating. Yeah, thank you so much, and I hope you have enjoyed the rest of the weekend. Till next time. Peace.